Okay, so back again with the FE type question. We're told here that the rectangular gate is shown in the figure. It in the figure shown in the figure is three meters wide. Assuming gamma is ninety eight ten, the net resultant force in kilonewtons on the gate is most nearly what? So what's different here? Usually we have a straight gate. Now we're looking at a gate that's submerged at an angle. So we want to find the force, the net resultant force on this gate. So we're just strictly finding the force here and the equation we will use is in the FE handbook. So I'm looking in the FE handbook 10.0. You can download this off the NCES website. And let me go to the right sections where include mechanics. Do control F type submerged. So submerged and you can go down here. It's so this figure is helpful because they tell us what each variable means. This is our y sub c. It's the distance from the free water surface to the centroid as shown here. So to the centroid, y sub cp is the distance to the center of pressure. So that's the actual location where the force would act. Center of pressure. When we want to, for example, determine moments, we need the actual location. And also, this is our y. y is along this direction. So it's always along the direction of the gate. So here, going back to the original question, we want to find the net resultant force. And the equation we're going to use, we know we're going to have the atmospheric pressure on both sides. And we're going to use this equation. We have our gamma is rho times g. Y sub C, we will need to find sine theta times A. So let's go back and write the equation. The net resultant force is going to equal to our rho times G, which is our gamma, right? This will be our gamma times our Y sub C sine of theta times the area. All of that is multiplied by the area. And we know theta based on the figure in the FE handbook is this angle. How can I find that angle? So we can find this angle because we know it's the same as this angle. So theta is going to be the tan inverse of the opposite over adjacent. The opposite of the triangle is 3, right? Plug in 3. The adjacent is just 4, right? Plug in 4. So theta, if you do the math for that, I got around 36.9 degrees so we know this angle theta that's good now we just need y sub c and the area the way we can get y sub c we know based on the figure in the fe handbook it's the distance from the free water surface to the what to the centroid let's call it centroid c and that's going to be our y sub c but in order to get to that we need our distance y let's call this distance from the top all the way to the bottom of the gate essentially the length of the gate is gonna be y so y sub c is going to be simply our y divided by 2 that's all we have to do so we can find y by doing the triangle rule Pythagorean theorem Sokotoa so if I look at this triangle here I'm gonna look at this triangle and we know the height here is going to be the 2 meters. So let's take out that triangle. We have, sorry, it doesn't, it's, this is the height. We have the base and we have this hypotenuse. And that is going to be our y, right? And we know this angle is theta, which is the 36.9. And we know this is 2 meters. So we can solve for y here by doing the sine rule, right? So we do sine of the 36.9, which is our angle theta, equals to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is our y. And then we solve for y. y should equal to, if you do the math, I got 3.331 meters. So we have our y, we have this y value, knowing that y value we can find y sub c. 
So y sub c is going to equal to the 3.331 meters divided by 2. So y sub c around 1.66 or 1.67 meters. So we're just going to plug that in here. So the force resulted in net is going to equal to our gamma, which is 9810. Keep your units, meter to the third. Newton per meter to the third, times y sub c, which is 1.67 meters, times sine of the angle theta, which is 36.9 degrees. And all of this is multiplied by the area. The area here, we know it's the gate is 3 meters wide, meaning when we're looking at the gate in like into the page in 3D, we have a gate that has pressure acting on it. And this gate is going to be, it will have a width here. This width, it's three meters into the page. And it's going to have this dimension, which is what? It's going to be our y. So don't write two here. It's not, it's a gate slanted. So it's going to be our y value, which is going to be the 3.331. That's that this that's that dimension. So the area is gonna be three meters by three point three three one. And now you can do the math for this. And I got for that around ninety-eight kilonewtons. So this is our answer, and it should be C. So let me know if you have questions. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.